What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. I almost said X. Holy buckets. Anywho, in the last episode, we went through quite a few, captured quite a few Pokemon and all that stuff, and now we've reached Ambrit Town. Now, well, like I said in the last episode, before I forget, let's go right here. You go here to Route 8, Mural Coast, and you're going to be able to find yourself a little secret item. Bam! A heart scale. If you guys don't know, yeah, heart scales are pretty rare right here, and it will benefit you, I believe, if you have one. Yeah, you will be able to teach your Pokemon a new move if you trade it for something. Now, do not forget about this lady. Talk to her. Here, trainer, use this TM, and it is Rock Smash, which, yes, it says it right there. Rock Smash. It can break boulders and everything. It is not an HM anymore, so thank you, Jeebus, that, you know, we don't have to use an HM slave for this one. So, let's go right ahead and teach that to our good old buddy, Zigzagoon, because, well, we kind of need a, we, we, we kind of need, need this Pokemon for a few more things, you know, for science and all that stuff. So, there we go. Zigzagoon has learned Rock Smash. And, uh, well, before we do anything, I kind of want to bring our Pokemon in here. Heal them up because, well, it's the proper thing to do, guys. Come on. It is the proper thing to do. And then there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Pokemon are nice and healed and ready to go. And, uh, well, let's see. I think there's somebody here. Let's see. Pokemon fossils. What do you think they dream about? Well, Pokemon fossils are technically dead. Talk to this guy. Pokemon fossils are quite rare themselves, but not as nearly as rare as the stones you will find along Route 10 here in Kalos. Really? Now, fun fact, guys. Now that we have the Rock Smash technique, we will be able to find ourselves different kinds of fossils that, well, I didn't really realize until later on. Now, if you talk to this lady, she's going to be like, I'm very particular, particular about the speed of a Pokemon. That's why I'm wondering if you have any Pokemon that with the speed of 191 or greater with you. Now, that right there is hard because there, there are very rarely any Pokemon with that kind of speed. Talk to this kid. And yes, Pokemon can evolve through battle. And okay, so he's talking about the stones. Different kinds of stones that we can use to make it evolve Pokemon, which, you know, we will be eventually getting to. Now, here we have this lady. I wonder how a strong... I wonder how strong the Smeargle I left in the daycare has become. Do you know about uh, Smeargle's new move, Sketch? It takes the move the other Pokemon use and makes it into its own. And the funny thing about that is it, there's only one PP with that. So eventually it goes into struggle if it doesn't have any kind of other moves and stuff. So we're in this hotel. Talk to this person. And yeah, I thought we were going to get something for free from her. All right, let's go right here. Talk to this individual. And why don't you use this? Bam! We got ourselves TM96 Nature Power. Which many of you guys already know. Yes, it is a very good... It is a very good move, depending on the uh, the, the location that you're at. If you're in the sea, it's going to be using Surf. If you're in the land, probably like Magnitude or something like that. This is my first vacation in such a long time. And how come you look like a maid? Do not know. Go right here, nothing. If you go right here, you will find the O Powers guy. And yes, yeah, so I'm not going to read this because he says the same thing. So let's see what kind of O Powers we get. And bam, we got ourselves a special defense power. This is level one. Again, I've never really, like I've never ever used any kind of O Powers. And then just like that, yeah, he disappears and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and continue on our little adventure. See what we can find right here for Frau, all that crud. And, well, let's see. I think we already talked to her. Yes, we did. Uh, if you talk to this guy, he's going to be like, yo, this is a good deal. Why don't you trade a Pokeball for my dive ball? Sure, why not? And there you go, guys. We got ourselves a dive ball. That right there is a... Uh, that, that right there is a good trade. Now, what you need to do first is you need to go straight into this area. And this is the lab where you can revive your fossils. And what you need to do is come in here, talk to this individual. And Serena's going to be like, wait for me. Okay, alrighty. 
So, here is this certain individual who's going to like, Welcome, future archaeologist. You were drawn here by the mystique of the fossils, no doubt. Uh, my name is Serena, and this is Draven. We're researching Mega Evolution, and we were wondering if you know anything about it. Oh, so you're Professor Sycamore students. I've heard about you. Hmm, Mega Evolution, you say? I'm sorry, but all I know is that it has something to do with the mysterious stones. Still, since you're the students of the professor, you must know about prof uh, the Pokemon fossils, correct? Yes. Wonderful, I expect no less from Professor Sycamore's students. That's right, fossils are the legacy of a prehistoric Pokemon. You should try and really, or uh, you should really go di uh, to the dig site and see the real, the real thing firsthand. Oh, I see. Well, if you don't know anything about Mega Evolution, then hold on. Pokemon can be restored from fossils just by, just might have something to do with Mega Evolution. The assistant in the Glittering Cave right now might know about that. Huh. So we got to go to the Glittering Cave then. What do I do? Well, since I'm already here, maybe I should go talk to the assistant. Are you going to the Glittering Cave, Sensei? Yes, I am. Okay. So, we're going to be going to the Glittering Cave, guys. That place, although not a lot going on, there will be some interesting Pokemon that you can find. Now, if you talk to this guy, uh, yes. And this guy's talking about a world-famous Rhyhorn driver. And it, it turns out my mom's name is Grace in this game. Now, if you talk to this lady, she's going to be like, Pokemon moves <clears throat> Pokemon moves that, that come in fi uh, direct physical contact with target are direct attacks. If you want to do something about them, you can try this. Bam, we get ourselves a Rocky Helmet. That is a very useful item. If a Pokemon holding a Rocky Helmet takes a direct attack, the attacker takes damage too. Combine that with the ability like Iron Barbs or Rough Skin and it'll start to sting, which it is a very good combination. Okay, so here we are in route number nine into the Spikes Passage. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, look at this, my Rhyhorn walking. Now, these stones right here, they kind of do act like uh, grass and all that stuff. And jeebus, criminy. Okay, let's go. Maybe I'm not my mom's kid because, look, I can't even ride this Pokemon properly. Holy buckets. Okay, so let's go, Rhyhorn. Get it. Oh, we're going to get attacked. Okay, so our first Pokemon we're going to get attacked is Hippopotas. I think I said that properly. And Hippopotas. Hippop... Hippopotamus? Damn you, you'll give him the easy ones. Where's that from, guys? So, we're gonna try and hit this Pokemon pretty hard. There we go. And Hippopotas. Not liking me. And... The funny thing, guys, I've been learning a little bit about Hippopotamus and all that crud. Apparently, it's one of the most dangerous Pokemon, or <laughs> not Pokemon, but one of the most dangerous uh, animals out there. Might not look like it, but it is. And here we go, throwing the Great Ball. And just like that, Hippopotas has been captured. That's right. We're not going to use him, and bam, we're getting some points right here. Growing levels, kicking butt, taking names. This is what the Pokemon life is all about. And... Well, let's see what we got here. So here it is, Hippopotas, the Hippo Pokemon. In e e each, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got to say this right. It e enshrouds itself with sand to protect itself from germs. It does not enjoy getting wet. Ah, huh. kind of like a uh, rock type Pokemon and all those ground type Pokemon. Probably, I don't even know. Probably, I don't know. Anywho, press A. Bam, we're hitting some stones. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. We're living the life right here. Okay, break this one. Press the B button. So we can grab ourselves. Okay, seriously? I'm going to press that B button again. Come on, man. I know you love us, but we got to go and grab ourselves this. And bam, we get ourselves an X defense. And the X defense actually... Well, it's going to come in handy, I guess, at some point. So, let's go back it up. Not really, but let's go ahead and continue our little adventure. And bam! We are going to get founded by another Pokemon. Another Hippopotas. I don't know how I'm saying the name right, but I'm still saying it. And you got to love the Sandstream. That, that right there is... Uh, well, I don't know what to say. So, Hippopotas, you are... 
Yeah, you are not you are not doing that. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Good gravy. There we go. Moving on forward. And there is a stone right there. And we are gonna hit this. Get off. And let's go right ahead and grab this stone right here. Hold on, let's see, right here. Here we have a Paralysis Heal. And that right there will come in handy too. Now, people often don't get this, but you can go right here to, towards the edge and grab a Firestone, which, again, many of you guys <laughs> have heard me in the last episode. Why have Lone Stones around here if you could, uh, if, you, if you have a, a place where it sells stones? I, I just don't get it. So let's move on. Gonna crush this right here. And we're gonna keep on moving in hopes of finding a Pokemon that, well, we might want. Come on, don't be lame. There we go. There's another one. Bam, there's another one. And we are getting attacked by another Pokemon. And seriously, another Hippopotas. Now, I don't know if you get to. I don't think there's hordes around here, guys. Yeah, I don't think there are hordes in this particular area. So. Let us move on and grab this and we're going to be going right here. Bam. Okay. We're trying to move. Come on. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at a big booty on this Pokemon right here. And we're going to smash this one. Now, here's something that you guys should probably see. If you go into this area you will be able to find yourself a trainer waiting for you. Now, you have to have a flying-type Pokemon in order to battle this this particular trainer. Unfortunately, I left Hurricane back in the PC, so, yeah, we're going to have to wait on that right there. And, uh, well, let's see. Back it, back, back, back it up. Yeah, look at that booty. Okay, back it up. Back, back, oh, come on. Back it, back it. There we go. Man, this is kind of like a hard thing to do. Now, there is a particular Pokemon I do want to capture here, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find this guy. I did press the B button right there, so my bad. So I'm going to try and find this Pokemon. Hopefully this will be it. Come on. Don't be lame. Nope, it's another Hippopotas. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so... Seven Hippopotas and one Sendile later, finally we get to find ourselves the Pokemon we've always wanted. Well, not really always wanted, but I've been looking for. And that is Heliotile. This Pokemon right here has caught my interest because it is an electric normal type Pokemon. And it is capable of learning some kind of ground type moves. And again, I, I do want to change the dynamic of, you know, this here team. You know, I kind of want to, you know... Kind of want to make it into a beastly team, and this guy will not let me see. Come on. And, well, we can't hit it. All right. <sighs> Two can play at that game. All right, let's go straight for Blade. Now, it could be risky, but I'm still doing it because, well, shoot, I could do it. So here is Blade, and here comes a Tail Whip. And how does a no... Okay, so how does that work? Seriously. It's a normal type attack. You can't really hit it. Let's go with a Pursuit, and come on. This Pokemon is getting on my god dang nerves. And there we go. We're finally getting a hit in. So it must be a good thing that this Pokemon is getting on our nerves. And good god. And there we go. Okay, so it is time to capture this Pokemon. And, well, we got a Luxury Ball here. I guess many of you guys already know how much I love changing it up with the Pokemon. So here we go. Luxury Ball. Go. And two... Three. There we go. Throwing out that peace sign. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. So there you go. We have defeated, or we have captured our newest Pokemon, Heliotile. Okay. So the Pokedex entry is right here. Here we have Heliotile, the generator Pokemon. It is both electric and normal type. The frills on either side of its head have cells that generate electricity when exposed to the sunlight. Now, I couldn't find a very good nickname for this Pokemon in the very first uh, walkthrough that I did before I erased most of the, the stuff. But I think I found it 
eventually. Well, I eventually found it. So, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our good old buddy, Nova. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so we are back, and let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Nova. As many of you guys already know, we replaced Aaliyah with Nova because, well, like I said, we're going to be using Kalos Pokemon only right here. So, as you guys can see, we got Nova, the, uh, well, the normal and uh, electric type Pokemon. Does have the Sand Veil uh, ability, which boosts up the Pokemon's evasion in a sandstorm. Now, its quirky nature right here kind of evens out its stats so it, there really isn't anything that it's weak on except for its physical defense so we got to make sure to protect this pokemon now weirdly enough this pokemon can only evolve through a sunstone so we need to find one of those little suckers and uh well let's go ahead and uh, continue our, our little adventure right here now if you talk to this lady right here she will be able to heal up your pokemon now if you guys haven't noticed yes i have tank right here that way, uh, we can, uh, we can have some, like, reinforcements ready to kick some butt, take some names, you know, that kind of stuff right there. So, let's go ahead and, uh, give it Rock Smash. So, Tank, how's it going? And, bam, it's learning a fighting-type move. Alrighty, okay, alright. So, the Glittering Cave. Not a lot to... Well, there's really not a lot into this place. There are, there are like maybe one or two rare Pokemon that you can find in this particular area. One of them being Kangaskhan, and hopefully, well, we can find it on our first tries. And would you look at that? No, we got ourselves a Cubone, which is okay. It's fine, guys. I will eventually capture myself a uh, Kangaskhan. It shall be mine. But it is a very rare Pokemon, and wow, this Pokemon right here has a Bone Club. That, that right there might hurt. And, well, since I'm probably not going to be doing it off screen, I might as well do it on screen and just, I'm just going to be capturing whatever Pokemon that comes to mind right here. That way I can level up all Pokemon that I have. And, well, off screen, I did buy myself a little, or a few more oil great balls. That way we can continue our adventure. There's one, there's two, there's three. Yes, I am throwing out the peace sign. Yeah, buddy, Cubone has been captured. Now, I completely forgot how, what I named him in Pokemon Fire Red, so do excuse that. I think I called it Bone Crush Out or something like that. I don't know. So here you have Cubone, the lonely Pokemon, pure ground-type Pokemon. It always wears the skull of his dead mother, so no one has any idea what his hidden, hidden face looks like. That is a scary thing. Very scary thing, but... Maybe, maybe, maybe if it was happy, it could, uh, you know, you, you could see its face and all that stuff. I don't know. It's pretty morbid. Now, we can't skate in here. So we're going to go in towards the next area. And there is a dark spot right there. And jeebus. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we're going to find. And yes, we found ourselves a Kangaskhan. Oh, my God. Okay, so like I said, Kangaskhan is ultra, ultra rare in this place. Trust me when I say this, guys. It is a very rare Pokemon. I am going to try and capture it so I can, uh, you know, so I can uh, trade it over to my Pokemon, my Pokemon X walkthrough. Not my X walkthrough, but I'm just saying my Pokemon X game. Uh, let's see. Come on. Let's go with Blade because you won't be able to hit it, I think. Probably. I don't know. So here we go, Blade. How's it going? Here comes a Tail Whip attack. Look at that, wiggling it still. All right, we're gonna capture you. Okay, so here we go. Here comes a Bite attack, Crap Baskets. Okay, so we weren't expecting that. Here comes a Pursuit. Come on, get another one. And here comes another Wiggle attack. Look at that. Oh my God. I got the chance to capture a Kangaskhan. All right, let's go. Pursuit. Fake out does not work. Let's go, Blade. And you know what? It would be better if we'd use Fury Cutter. And here we go. That one is... Let's try it one more time. Fake out. And okay, so... You know what? Let's go with the Great Ball. I do not want to risk this, okay? Oh, my God. Come on, Great Ball. Work. Work, damn you. One, two, three. Throwing out that peace sign. Yes! 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have captured a Kangaskhan on screen. Yeah, buddy, and Blade grows to level 18, and it wants, wants to learn Automize, Atatomize. So let's go ahead and take away the metal sound. Alrighty, there we go. Metal sound has been uh, eliminated. Jordan the goat has grown to level 19, and yes, we have captured ourselves a pretty nifty Kangaskhan. So there you go. Kangaskhan, the parent Pokemon. If it is safe, the young gets out of the belly pouch to play. The adult keeps a close eye on the youngster. No, I am not nick nick nicknaming this Pokemon. In fact, I am going to trade it to my Pokemon X game. That way I can start completing the game because seriously, guys, how long is it like how, how long does it take to find a Kangaskhan? A very long time. I knew I was gonna get lucky on this one right here. And if I find another Kangaskhan, then oh yeah, I'm definitely trying to capture that one too. And no, this is a Cubone. Alrighty, so yes, we're not doing anything about that. We're gonna run away. And well, what's gonna happen here is we're gonna be healing up our Pokemon. Let's go with a super potion. There it is. And give this to Blade. Okay. Let's go right ahead and see what else we can actually find. There is a dark spot. Now you will be able to find yourself a TM for Shadow uh Shadow what? Shadow Claw, yes. So we're just gonna keep on going. Jordan the goat not gonna battle this Pokemon but we could defeat him and let's see what we're gonna find right here there it is we found ourselves the TM 65 shadow claw a very very nifty move and well let's go ahead and move on to the next portion right here and it looks like to me there is another area yes Okay, so we're going to be taking on a Machop. Okay, we have not captured a Machop yet. Um, let's go straight for a Razor Leaf attack. And, well, that doesn't defeat Machop, but that actually helps us out a little bit. And, well, let's see. Let's go with another Razor Leaf attack. And there we go. It's in the red. So let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon. Let's go with a regular Pokeball. See what that does. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Come on. Don't be lame. Be on my side. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so we're capturing Pokemon. Left and right. <sighs> Pokemon are growing levels. Yeah, we should be excited about this. We are. Kind of. I don't know. So here it is, another Pokemon, Machop, the super power Pokemon. Its whole body is composed of muscles. Even though it's size of the size of a human child, it can hurl about a hundred grown-ups. That is, uh, that is, those are life goals for me, guys, as you guys already know. Back into the work, you know, trying to get fit again. And, well, we are in through the secret room right here. And if you go a little further, someone is going to take notice of us. Who the heck is this? What's this? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, well. What do we have here? A nosy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up. We're the fashionable team whose very name makes the people tremor in fear. Team Flare. Team Flare's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. We don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers in, uh, or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know what, uh, don't you know not to play with fire? Yeah, no. Getting my fancy suit dirty isn't my isn't the stylish way to do things. But if you insist, I'll obliterate you. Get him, Houndour. Oh, and there is the pose. And wow, it, it. Okay, so the pose makes sense. Here we go. Our very first battle against a Team Flare Grunt, and they will be coming out with a Houndour. So I am um, not. Yeah, I am not going to do that. So let's go right ahead. And switch it out. Let's, uh, we need a water type Pokemon right here. Eventually. So let's go. Do, 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 do. Let's go with Poping. All right. All right, Poping. Have this Pokemon catch these hands. Okay. And the Mold Breaker is molding. And here comes a Roar attack. Are you serious? Okay. Who's the Pokemon? 
And we got Nova. Okay, all right. So the very first battle for Nova. And we got ourselves a Mud Slap. So this Pokemon is speedy. Yeah. Okay. And you are blind. That's right. The power of Christ compels you. And that can't be good. So we're going to have to hit it right here, Mud Slap. We're going to have to blind it. And yes, the accuracy is going low. And here comes another roar. So it knows. It knows it can't win. So who's the next Pokemon? Here we have Star Fox. Alrighty. All right, Star Fox, let's go with a Flame Charge attack. Okay. Bam. Not so effective, but yet, Houndour defeated. Star Fox wins. And, well, everybody's getting points, including Poping. And, well, let's see. Here comes Zubat. Let's go with Nova. Alrighty. Nova, you don't like me, and I don't like you, but guess what? We're stuck together. All right, here he comes out with a Zubat. Let's see who is faster. Go with a Thundershock right here. And Nova is a pretty fast Pokemon, which I'm liking. So here comes a Bite Attack, and that is going to take a good hit because, of course, it's physical defense. It's trash. So here we go. Another Thundershock for the win. Say goodbye to Zubat. I am throwing out that peace sign. Suck it, Team Flare. Okay, he's like, you may have beaten me, but when I lose, I go out in style. Okay, that, that really does... Okay, whatever. Okay, so we have defeated a Team Flare grunt, and he's like, what's this? You're a pretty tough Pokemon trainer for a kid. But watch yourself. I'm not the only Team Flare member. Okay, well, if you're going to have some Fire-type Pokemon, well, we're going to have to switch out the Pokemon right here. So, let's see... Eventually, this team will come to fruition, guys. Now, there are some stones, which you will be able to find items, Pokemon, or a fossil. And here we found ourselves a hard stone. Now, I do believe you can find yourself an old amber, regardless of what, what game you're playing. But I think it depends on what kind of version you're playing. You either get a helix or dome fossil, what have you. And unfortunately, we get ourselves a freaking Pokemon. And this Pokemon happens to be a Dweeble. Dweeble. Dweeble, Dweeble, I don't even know. But I'm liking the, the type advantage. Since it is still a rock type. So let's go straight for a Karate Chop. And no, that is not super effective. Yeah, so this is just a super effective kind of battle. Non-super effective battle. And here we go. Karate Chop for the win. And here comes a Feint Attack. So yes, I... I guess you could say, guys, I am trying to capture every Pokemon on screen since, well, yeah, off screen, I don't really do a good job of it. So let's go straight for a Pokeball. Okay, alrighty, here's the Pokeball. Pokeball is going once, going twice, and yes, we have captured ourselves another one. So, hmm, I should be able to capture another Pokemon right here. I should capture Pokemon that, yes, haven't gotten, or I haven't gotten in, in the Y version. So here is Quick Attack. We're going to take away the Tail Whip for just right now. And there we go. Alrighty. Okay. So here we have Dwibble, the rock in Pokemon, the bug in rock type Pokemon. When it finds a stone of a suitable size, it secretes a liquid from its mouth to open the hole to crawl into. So it probably has acid or something. That could be it. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. And here is another Team Flare member. We're going to take everyone else down so we can do what we want. Hmm. Okay, well, here we have a Team Flare grunt wanting to battle us. And he is going to be coming out with a Gulpin. This is going to be a tough one because fighting type Pokemon have no effect against this Gulpin. And, well, let's go with a workup attack. Let's KO Ken right here for this Pokemon. Look at that. That is a KO Ken if I ever saw one. And, well, here comes a Yawn. So we better hit this Pokemon right away. All right, let's go. Slash attack. And this slash attack doesn't do the thing. And, well, we are asleep. This is some BS. Okay, so let's go straight for a, a restore. And yes, we did we did equip our Pokemon. So yeah, we're going to be waking up right here. 
And... Well, that special defense is going up, but it won't do anything right here because Slash Attack for the win. And there you go. All right. Look at that. Team Flare is not liking me right now. And, well, here comes an Electric. Don't want to mess with that Pokemon. So this is a this is a chance for the GOAT himself, Jordan. And, well, let's go with the GOAT, Jordan. Here comes Electric. And, well, let's go straight for a Razor Leaf attack. See what that, let's see what happens right here. So here we go, Razor Leaf. And that? Oh, that kind of looked like a critical hit right there, guys. So, here we go. Another Razor Leaf attack. And, well, there you go. Say goodbye to Electric. And, bam. Alrighty. So, we got another win. Say goodbye to another Team Flare member. And what is going to happen now is we're going to be grabbing this. And hopefully we find ourselves a fossil. Now, again, they're, they are very rare, guys. So you can come here any single time and try and find them and all that crud. Let's see. Come on. Let this be another one. And a flare smash. And nothing. Okay. So we're going to be switching out Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Star Fox right here. And, well, here we have a double battle. And they're going to be like, we're Team Flare. We put fashion to interfere. We're, we're, we, were looking for inter or we were looking for fossils, but we discovered a kid. Draven. Uh, oh, yeah. Hello there. There are two members of Team Flare. Well, then, are you ready to team up and battle them? Yes. I just fought another one of these Team Flare guys. Ah, uh, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, take on these Team Flare people. First double battle against Team Flare members. Well, let's see what let's see what can happen. So here comes Krogunk and Scraggy. And we're gonna be going with Star Fox and Esper. So two psychic type Pokemon. Well yeah, well I wouldn't say two because you know, Star Fox is not really a, a psychic type yet. But that will actually work. Say goodbye to Krogunk. Alrighty, okay. And, well, Blade grows to level 19, Tank to level 16, the Goat Jordan, level 20, and wants to learn Synthesis. Okay. Uh, hmm. Synthesis. The user restores his own HP. The amount of HP varies from the weather. Okay, so, you know what? I'm going to keep the Leech Seed just because it's much more of a strategic move. And we, yeah, we kind of don't lose anything right there. So... Here comes Esper using a light screen attack. And here comes a brick break, which will break the light screen. So that is that, that that's something that it predicted. So here we go. Flame charge for the win. And flame charge. Increases its speed, but it doesn't finish this Pokemon. Here comes Covet. And yeah, this Pokemon is. Yeah, he's one strong Pokemon. Okay, here we go. Flare or flame charge. For the win. And there you go. Scraggy. Not liking it. And bam. There goes Star Fox. Grows to level 27. And it's learning Lucky Chance. I am not going to use that for right now because what's what's there to be lucky? Luck is for losers, right? Luck is for losers. Anywho, there is another victory for us. Yes. The power couple dominating Kalos. And, well, he's like, oh, man, my favorite fashionable Team Flare suit is filthy. If we can restore fossils, we can make some good money. Yeah, you guys kind of sort of remind me of a certain group that I defeated not so long ago. I wonder if you guys have any kind of, like, connection to them. I'm just asking. And here we found ourselves another Hearthstone, which, well, it's another random. And, well, let's see. There is a, there is a spot right here. Aveng if you... Well, if you step into it, guys, you will be going up against a Pokemon, which I'm not going to do right now. So here we go. And that is another Pokemon that wants to attack us. Seriously. And this is an Onix. Okay, so maybe just maybe I want to capture this Pokemon right here. Because uh, it's an Onix. Seriously, guys. How often do you go up against an Onix? Not a lot. And bam, it's sturdy. Oh, yes. So it kind of benefited us right there. 
All right, let's go. Let's get it with a great ball right here. Come on. Throwing the great ball. Stay in the Pokeball, man. One. Damn it! Okay, so... I guess you could say it's still uh, it's still stubborn as you know what. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. Come on, give it a kiss for good luck. And come on, stay in there. Damn it! So this Pokemon does not want to go. It doesn't. It doesn't want to go anywhere. So here it comes with another Rage Attack. Funny thing is, we are not doing anything to power it up. So here we go. Come on, stay in the ball. Come on! Okay, so here comes a rock team attack. So this Pokemon does not want to go anywhere. It's just beating up my Star Fox. And if I can't capture it with a Great Ball, then it's there's no point in trying to capture this Pokemon right here. So, one, two, come on, three. Throwing up the peace sign. That's right. That's how you do it, guys. I'm throwing out that peace sign. You guys can't see it, but still. Okay. So, let's see what this new Pokemon has to say to us. Here is Onyx, the rock snake Pokemon, both rock and ground type. It usually lives underground. It searches for food while boring its way through the ground at 50 miles per hour. Holy crud. So, this is what causes earthquakes. So, what we're going to do is bequeath its name again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Serpentera. Serpent. Terra. There we go. Okay, so we got Serpentera back. Yeah, we're going to try and evolve all these Pokemon and all that crud. So, yeah, our collection is its getting up there. That's pretty cool. And buckets. I didn't want to step in that. Oh, man. This is what happens when you get a little too trigger happy. And what you will find is a Woobat, which is a pure... Well, it's not a pure psychic type. It is a... Well, it is a whatchamacallit psychic and flying type Pokemon. And bam. That's right. We will not we will not be attacked by you. Okay. Let's go. And is there okay, so we got one more rock. Hopefully this will actually you know give us something. And no, we are gonna get ourselves a friggin' heartstone. Great, fantastic, loving it. Grab this, and we get ourselves an escape rope, which will actually help us out. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this old man. And there comes our girlfriend, Serena. How's it, girl? Did you find him? Oh, there she is. Oh. Why, hello! Here here to, uh, or, why, hello? Here to look for fossils as well? Are you okay? Did Team Flare come here? Team Flare? What's that, a Pokemon? Uh, don't worry about it. It looks like he has completely absorbed in looking for fossils. <clears throat> wow, almost while it's bit right there. You two are very lucky. I just found two fossils, but they're both uh, ones I already have. So I'll give one uh, to each of you. Do you want a jaw fossil or a sail fossil? Now, I've already done this in the last walkthrough with the jaw fossil, and I should be getting the sail fossil. But with the Pokemon X game that I'm playing, I also got myself a sail fossil. Because I have big plans for the jaw fossil. So let's go right ahead and grab that jaw fossil. Yeah, buddy. Okay, jaw fossil. We do have plans for this, guys. Again, I'm doing my best. That's right. So here we go. And I'll restore your fossils and, and turn them back into the Pokemon at the lab. Hope to see you there. So yes, we will be seeing him pretty soon. And, uh, well... Serena's going to be like, well, we went looking for a, an assistant and found a suspicious group called Team Flare as well. I guess I should train more so I can travel safely with those Team Flare people running around. In that case, I guess the best thing to do would challenge, would be challenging the Sil Silage City Gym. Whatever you say, baby. Now, there is another boulder. Please let there be a fossil. Come on. And nothing. Okay. So, we're going to be going all the way back to um, to the, what was it, to the lab. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to use the escape rope, and I'm going to fast forward to when we're in the, in the what was it called, into the lab. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so we're back, and what we're going to do is we're going to revive that jaw fossil. 
So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the jaw fossil and is going to get back to you. The funny thing is, you don't have to go outside to wait for that Pokemon, and... Well, he's restored the fossil, and he's like, it's a Tyrant. Okay, so here it is, guys. We got ourselves a Tyrant. And I made sure to put a Pokemon back into the PC, because if you don't have a Pokemon in the PC, or you don't have an empty space, yeah, you're not going to be able to nickname this Pokemon. And yes, this Pokemon right here will be a part of our team. And <laughs> this is uh, this is going back to, uh, what was it, my childhood. Since it looks like a Tyrannosaurus, well, it is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're going to be calling it after something that we've seen from Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ladies and gentlemen, I bequeath to you this Pokemon, Sharptooth. If you guys know where the ref or where th where this reference is from, yeah, we are officially old. So, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Sharptooth. Yeah, Sharptooth. <laughs> Wait, did I spell that correctly? Yes, Sharptooth. Okay. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Sharptooth. And believe it or not, this Pokemon is at level 20. It is both a rock and dragon type Pokemon. Very physical Pokemon, and that does have the move or the ability Strong Jaw. The Pokemon's jaws gives it a tremendous biting power. So any kind of like bite technique or crunch or anything with its jaws, yes, it's gonna it's gonna win. And its modest nature will affect its physical attack. I think we can make a Pokemon out of this Pokemon, but Sharptooth, yes. So comment down below, guys. If you know where the reference Sharptooth is from, yes, you are officially old just like I am. And I think there is one more thing we can do here. I think if we talk to this guy. And, yes, we can grab ourselves an Aerodactylite. This is where you get it, guys. Yeah, buddy. And I had completely forgotten that we also found uh, that when we were digging up fossils. By the way, did you know that the Pokemon Aerodactyl can be restored from the Old Amber? Sometimes you can find an Old Amber when you break a rock with Rock Smash, which is true. And, well, I think that's pretty much it there, guys. Or, Lexi, if we talk to this guy, hold on. Uh, Genesect, let me know. Okay, we don't have Genesect, and, uh, okay. So, let's go right ahead, and let us, uh, yes, let us pause this game right here. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be moving forward with our adventure. There's going to be a lot more to, uh, cover, and, uh, well, what else is there? Yeah, we're going to be going to Silas City, so thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.